United won, Chelsea won, Ronaldo to the rescue, De Gea to the rescue. That's Any it, let's go home, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody who's got any chat for De Gea, my app is faz1996 underscore, find me. Little plug. Shameless. <laughs> find me. No, no, seriously, because I'm sick, including Marcel. Where is he? He's hiding, he's hiding, he's hiding. Including him. He heard his name. Yeah, including yeah. Cam. Yeah. Yeah, including anyone. I'm calling you lot out. Without De Gea today, it could have been easily 3-0, three, three 4-0 by halftime. Half this man again and again and again. And please find it within your heart to respect him. As much as you want to replace him, give me a proper alternative to replace him with. Other than that, all season. Remember at some point of the season we were saying he could have been our uh, uh, player of the season. And you man are telling me that you want to replace him. This, no. He has to stay another, at least, like we were saying. Yeah, give him one year, then after that. I was going to say two. <laughs> well, okay. No, but he has to stay a couple of seasons, you know? Um, well, every time we talk, I, it's usually it's been, oh, it's Ronaldo, the alien. Well, De Gea is a bit of a one as well, oh. because the amount of saves that he does make, you know, big, big saves. Match defined saves, mm. you know? Uh, uh, match point saves. Without his saves, we, we could have been. Without Ronaldo's goals and without De Gea's saves, we would. Oh, my They're God. They're two best players. Oh, my yeah. God. You know, there needs to be a lot of respect put on De Gea and, mm. and Ronaldo this season. Um, no matter what position we are in, these two players are saying, you know, we're not going out just like that. We're not, go we're not, we're not going down just like that. We're going to put mm. up a fight right to the end. Ronaldo came through clutch for us. De Gea saved us. Rest of the players, uh, start talking to your agents, mate. A lot of you lot, start talking to your agents. Start thinking about careers where you're going to move to because you, you lot are done. Each and every one of you, except for probably Elanga, McTominay, Fred, the rest of you, start talking to your agents, honestly. Oh, what was bad, really I, you know, I mean, we got outplayed, you know, midfield. We had an extra man in midfield, you wouldn't have thought so. Rhys James and Alonso getting acres of space, more so Rhys James down Rashford's side. We just didn't have an answer, did we? And like you said, we were, you know, you had Ronaldo who was actually, for most of the game, having to go up against Rudiger, Rudiger Aspilicueta and Thiago Silva, still gets himself a goal. Just no answer, no answer. Chelsea, they, you look, Chelsea, they've had a bad season and that's how they play. Yeah. They, they have problems with their owner. They might have ended up points being deducted. You know, th these are bad situations and yet the players are still playing with so much confidence. The players believe in the manager, the players playing with, you know, like they believe the manager. And, and it shows you blatantly there's levels to top three, top four now in Premier League. Look at the way Conte, oh my God. And some people I are was, saying he's finished. You know? Oh, <laughs> give over, please. Yeah. Delusion talk this. Give mm. over. This guy plays the most beautiful, simplest football you could think of. He, he's so he's, he's tiny compared to the other players on the pitch, yet he wins the ball nine out of ten times. He makes the correct pass nine out of ten times, you know? He doesn't give away the ball. And I, I know Thingy was saying, the gentleman you had on your Thingy, that Kante gives the ball up. I didn't see that today. Mm. He was playing perfect in my eyes. But Please. is that because he's playing against a particularly bad That's midfield? Was, yeah. yeah, I was going to say, we make these players look world class. We've done that all season. We, we you know, we did that with the... Uh, with, um, Watford, Watford keeper, um, what's ben his Foster. name? We made him look like a world-class keeper, you know? That's what we do. But these players, they're playing with confidence. We obviously don't have any confidence. You could you could even tell when we conceded, when we won nil down, every player's just like, ah. Mm. Like, I worried lucky. then. I, re I honestly worried didn't think. What? In terms of like, it could go on to get embarrassing, seconds gonna follow. I, I, could, I didn't, obviously when Ronaldo's on the pitch, it's always, it's, we know that. Yeah. But I just didn't feel that that moment was coming. And even after that moment, it went straight back to what it was before, which is Chelsea just, you know, dominating pretty much. Even, even you know, we've seen that sometimes when we concede 1-0, one, 2-0, one nil, nil, Ronaldo's there, come on, yeah, yeah, trying yeah. to uplift. Today, he's just like, yeah, let's get the ball. You know, same, I'm probably going to score for you guys, save you, you know. Th that's it. Mm. Everybody, Everybody's just trying to see out the season. Everybody's just trying to put a shirt on, have a couple of minutes and see out the season. What did you make of Bruno today? What can I say? He needs a he needs a restart. Well, he ran. He made a couple of good challenges, but again, he's not controlling the game like I would want him to. He's not being that pivotal person up front trying to create chances or being that threat uh, uh, at Chelsea's box. He's not being that person. Um, as much as he had an okay game, made a couple of chances, not good enough for me. Definitely not good enough. Mm. Absolutely not um, uh, contract extension worthy at all. You need to be much more um, aggressive, much more 
threatening when you're going forward like this, especially when you're playing with Ronaldo, especially going into now next season, Ten Hag coming in and if you had a contract inspection, I'd expect a lot more from you. Mm. Yeah, it, it, it's not good enough. Me, I have a big problem with the fullbacks. Wow, they, wow, wow. Like any normal individual looking at that, they could turn around and say, yeah, they, they, they're not Manchester United fullbacks. They, they, fullbacks have to go first. Can Ten Hag get anything out of them? No, no. What what could they tell me? Tell me one thing that they have in their locker that Ten Hag could bring out. I actually don't see. We haven't seen all season. We haven't seen one game where we could say, "Oh, Teles and Dalo, they could they could do such a thing." Yeah, we could use this. Except for me again, I'd still I'm not backing him. But I say one Bissaka, the only thing he does good. Okay, he wins the ball back. He'll make a good slight tackle. No matter how much Cam says, "Oh, he's only slight tackling because he's not near the ball." Cool, but he does that well at least. Our fullbacks don't do anything well. The way Tellers was chasing at times, you look, he looked like gassed. Mata played the best five minutes, ten minutes than some of these players all season. Mm. He put more of an effort in than some of these players. The older guys. It's the older guys. He doesn't make sense. Matic as well. He yeah. put a bit of a great shift ball for Ronaldo. In. He put a bit of a shift in. You could see him get down and dirty. And and McTominay, he needs to turn his you know career around as well. Like. I don't want to be protecting any player. When you're not technically good enough, you could love the club as much as you want. If you're not good enough, you're not good enough. Mm. That's, that's, that's all it comes down to. Rashford, McTominay, I'm not protecting these players. If you're not fixing up, you've you got to go. You know how, how my stance is with Rashford anyways. I think he needs to leave ASAP. There's not the, another chance under Ten Hag. In this scenario, when there's nothing to play for, no pressure on you, this is not a, a cup game or anything as such, and you still not finding your feet and you're still <laughs> not Sums it up, isn't it? <laughs> and you're still not getting anything up top he presses so much and then he's just like oh i couldn't get it he's pointless pressing he's do you think he's just not trying look i said to come right second half yeah he he, he put a shift in he ran a bit but other than in that general. what else yeah he's just, he tried to do some funny skill whatever didn't work out for him he tried to make a pass to bruno that it didn't work out for him at that level this this doesn't add up mm. this literally doesn't add what else can you point other than he's just not good enough there must be something after his injury something's happened that we're not aware of due to which it's actually affecting his performance there has to be because for you it doesn't add up for no, how no, no, you no, go no. from that you to as bad that. as this no you don't you don't go from marcus Rashford that we know like a season, two seasons ago, to this, it, it doesn't. There's something detrimental wrong that he needs to figure out, or the mm. or, or the club needs to be open and tell us what's going on, or let's just replace him. Mm. There's much more hungrier players, or whatever. Ganacho, you know, uh, Hannibal, Shoratire, they could. I'm sure they could come and do much more damage than than Rashford, especially mm. next season when Ten Hag comes in. But other than that, yeah. Who would you mind the match finish off? Of course, it's Ronaldo. Of course, it is. You know, as much as. Even Ronaldo, I'd say, I'd even give it to the Gea. Mm. Mate, what he gives are you us a platform me? to even stay in the Mate, game. Right? What are you doing? Oh my, all season I've, I've, I've drained all my anger and my energy now. I don't have any more left. Leave the Gea alone. That's the caption. Leave mm. the Gea alone. Anyone who's got problem with the Gea, I'll face you personally. Leave him alone. Go find someone else to, to, to pick on. Mm. Don't pick on the Gea. That's all I got to say. No problem.